today I'm going to be reviewing the Whoop 5.0 and Whoop MG. We're going to be taking a look at every single spec, the health and fitness data and accuracy, the pricing and membership models, all of the new features they've released, and what the difference is between the Whoop 5.0 and the Whoop MG. Now feel free to use chapters down below because I cover everything in this video and I mean everything. And I'm also going to be comparing these wearables to typical smartwatches just to see how it stacks up against Whoop. And to be honest, Whoop is miles ahead of everything else. Now to start when it comes to health and fitness features, keep in mind both of these whoops have strain recovery, VO2 max, sleep, heart rate data, and heart rate zones, which again at the beginning of the day is the core root of why you would get a whoop in the first place to just monitor all of these different things. And both the whoop 5.0 and the whoop MG have advanced insights on woman's health, which means you can actually track menstrual cycles, pregnancy, and perimenopause. pause. And on both of these whoop wearables, you can actually just track your sleep, which is at the fundamental root of whoop. Both of the sleep insights are exactly the same and both of these wearables both have the haptic alarm which is a big thing and personally one of my favorite features just because it's so easy to actually wake up to just because it vibrates on your wrist which is one of the coolest things but when it comes to the whoop mg this is where it has a few different features than the original whoop 5.0 you see the whoop mg actually has a heart screener and on-demand ecg readings for heart rhythm data and analysis blood pressure insights which is actually the first ever wearable to actually have something like this and this blood pressure insight is actually FDA approved as they went over on their website. For the past three years we've been collecting tens of thousands of readings in Whoop Labs to develop this novel blood pressure algorithm. So no longer do you have to go through the hassle to actually put something on your arm to check your blood pressure. You can check it anytime during the day, after meals, before bed, after you wake up, which is one of the major things when it comes to stepping away from the Whoop 5.0 and the MG. The MG is just a lot more advanced and has a lot more advanced features that are coming soon that they have not yet revealed, which doesn't seem like the Whoop 5.0 has. And in the near future, there's actually going to be clinical blood tests, which you can actually use and view your data from in the Whoop app to actually view your insights when it comes to results and how you may be doing health-wise. Now, when it comes to hardware and design, both of these wearables are 7% smaller than the original Whoop 4.0. The 5.0 and the MG are the exact same size. They both have a slicker and sleeker design and are just smaller on your wrist in general. And both of them have customizable bands, so you can always swap out which type of bands you actually have on your Whoop. And both of their batteries lives last up to 14 days, so if you pair this with your charger, which you can easily just slip on your Whoop bands, then you can actually make them up to last 30 days on the upper hand. So if you're traveling, you don't even need to plug this thing into a wall or charge your Whoop at all when you're traveling, which is pretty amazing. For comparison, the charger will last you about three times longer than the typical smartwatch. But when it comes to the breakaway between the 5.0 and the MG, the MG actually has a lot more advanced sensor chip just on it. Now, both of them do track your pulse and data 26 times per second just on your wrist, but the Whoop MG has an integrated class allowing on-demand electrodynamic readings, medical grade monitoring, which can provide clinical grade health insights, including artificial fibrillation detection. So to recap, the hardware is pretty dang similar, just the MG has a lot more advanced sensor and will give you a lot more insights when it comes to tracking your overall health. For comparison, the charge will last you about three times longer than the typical smartwatch. And when it comes to pricing and membership tiers, there's actually three different peaks. We have the Whoop 1, which costs $200 a month, which includes the Whoop 5.0, the wearable charger, access to basic health tracking and fitness tracking, which includes your sleep, heart rate data, zones, VO2 max, recovery, and strain. And of course, it comes with AI coaching on the app, and that costs $200 per year. Now, the second membership option is actually called the Whoop Peak, which costs $240 a year and includes, but is not limited to, the stuff that we have on the previous subscription, adds health span metrics, stress tracking, and health monitor data dashboard and again includes the 5.0 wearable device and the charger. So basically the Whoop 1 and the Whoop Peak are interchangeable. So if you were to buy the Whoop 1 just to try it, you could always upgrade or downgrade depending on which one you want just because you do have the Whoop 5.0 wristwatch, which again has the same sensor, just has a few new and a few different health metrics if you are looking to track your stress, health span metrics, and your health monitor dashboard. But if you're just looking for the basics, I personally would go for the Whoop 1. And the third and final tier is actually called the Whoop Peak, which starts at the insane price of $360 a year. But we do have to keep in mind this does include blood pressure monitoring. So you don't have to buy a $100 blood pressure monitoring device and you can actually check 
your blood pressure just from your wrist, which is actually one of the major selling points when it comes to buying this subscription and why it is so pricey. Is it includes a full grade of medical suite, ECG blood pressure monitor insights, and more features that we don't know yet are coming out, but will likely come out in the next few months or years. This is the first blood testing experience that will allow a complete and integrated view of your heart health, metabolic health, inflammation and immunity, and hormone balance, all connected to your 24-7 WHOOP data. This advanced offering will be available soon. So at the end of the day, the WHOOP 5.0 is ideal for those of the people seeking comprehensive fitness tracking with advanced insights into strain, recovery, and sleep. And for those of you who are actually obsessed with your help or potentially seeking medical grade insights from your wristband, then you should probably get the WHOOP MG device, which is basically designed for those seeking medical grade health monitoring, including heart rate, heart health, blood pressure tracking. But both of these are extremely advanced device. And if you do end up getting one of them, you literally can't go wrong. Your life will be changed forever. And if you do want a $30 discount on either one of these wearables, feel free to use the link in the description down below for a $30 discount. Or you can actually use a month free trial, which is they'll actually ship you a band that you can actually try for a full month with all the features, including the app, which you can easily just sign up for on the website. And if you don't like it, you can always mail it back. Or if you do like it, you can always sign up for the subscription plan that you think is right for you. And just some general comparisons when it comes to the Whoop to some other fitness trackers is whoop is a pioneer to the fitness world because they distinguish themselves just by offering an in-depth psychological insights focusing on recovery strain and sleep metrics which in contrast to other devices like the apple watch and samsung or galaxy watch all of these devices provide a very broad range of features and are not as advanced and as intellectual when it comes to accuracy just for the data that they measure they're sort of like a swiss army knife and this is just like a knife like it's very exact and very precise when it comes comes to measuring all of the data. So that's why personally you might want to whoop over those other devices, which also often happen to have screens, which can serve as a distraction. And whoop's battery life now being up to 14 days, or you could say 30 days, if you just bring that portable charger just in your pocket with you, you can go camping. Those other watches don't stand a chance. Now, some of them, like the Garmin's can last like two weeks or the Apple watches can last a few days, but nothing compares to the size of the whoop, as well as how long the charger can actually last. So basically, the Whoop 5.0 is the ideal wearable for those of the athletes that are looking for exact, very, very specific insights when it comes to monitoring your health data versus the other wearables, which are more for those of the people that are looking for a balance between just health and fitness and as well as the smartwatch techie gadgets of the world. So if you're not extremely serious about your health, you could probably just go for a classic wearable such as a Fitbit, Apple Watch, Garmin, or Galaxy smartwatch. But if you are extremely obsessed with your health, personally, I would go for the Whoop. Go for the Whoop MG if you're like extremely obsessed, or if you just want all of the basic things with extreme accuracy, just go for the 5.0. And one last feature and possibly the coolest feature they've released yet is we have the health span feature, which is basically just a way to measure the speed of aging just through all of the different health metrics your Whoop will actually track from you. And they've tested this metric over 10,000 times and actually compared it to real speed of age testing. So you can basically see if your biological age lines up with your chronological age or if you're going aging faster or slower which is honestly like by far the coolest thing that I've ever seen when it comes to a whoop wearable and you can't get this on any other wearable devices which is really really again what separates whoop from all of these other wearables like they're the pioneer of freaking health at the moment and this feature is on the 5.0 and the MG so you can get it on all whoops after the 4. So to recap cap depending on how health obsessed you are or your needs to measure different medicals or health metrics from your body really should help you answer which whoop you should get now if you're just looking for the basics i would just get the five but if you're looking for the medical care and the most rigorous and most accurate wearable device on the market definitely go for the whoop mg again if you want a 30 dollars discount click on the top link in description and i sincerely hope that this was helpful and you find some knowledge from using your whoop it's will sincerely change your life i've been using it for two years and I literally love it. But yeah, have a great day. Peace out.